said the same thing I told ya. My eyes are clear, there's no secret. I wanna know, was it serious? I need to clear my best friend. Is it easy to show with the weight of the world on my shoulders? I know I told ya. It's the best light I know. It's not a game that I am playing in my love Trying to hold my feeling, I don't know what's right I'll find the best way I think that I might I know you made it in the nick of time I'm calling on you I think we're made of something So originally I was going to apologize for wearing the exact same hoodie again, but you know what? <laughs> if I said that I wasn't wearing this hoodie almost every single day of this quarantine, then that would be a lie, and I'm just trying to keep it real. Um, I do have a few other hoodies that I circulate through, but I usually wear them like three days at a time. <laughs> Not doing anything besides sitting in my room. Plus, this is the most comfortable sweater that I own. It's by Talentless, and I'm actually thinking about doing a review video, but that's not what we're talking about right now. I just got sent a at-home hair removal system by Top Lane, and they actually sent me one to give away to you guys, I assume, because they sent me two. So stay tuned for that. That is not going to be in this video, but... I'm about to kind of open it up and just kind of see what this is all about because this is just everything that I need right now. I couldn't make it to my last um, appointment because obviously this whole thing started. It even comes with protective glasses. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And then they also sent over their moisturizing cream with aloe vera, vitamin A, and E for all skin types. And it says that it's cruelty-free and vegan, which is really cool. Um, let's see what this says. This is super interesting. I'm going to have to use this in a vlog. So far, I am very intrigued and this looks very professional. So I'm curious to see how it compares to like normal laser hair treatments. I feel like machines like this are great for people who've been doing laser hair removal for a while and they use this as a touch-up rather than just like going straight in with it right off the bat and hoping to see incredible results um, because obviously the laser is not going to be as hot at an at-home treatment that it would be in an actual salon. Um, but let's see how this works. I don't want to judge it before I try it so I'm probably going to give this a try on Sunday. Hello, hello. I think that I'm zoomed in. Am I? That seems rather close. How do I zoom out? Today, I really want to bleach a sweatsuit that I just ordered from Boohoo. And if you guys want to see my try on haul review of the stuff that I bought from Boohoo, then I'll link that video um, in all the places, description box, whatever. Uh, but I got a suit that's just an all black sweatsuit and I'm thinking about bleaching it just to have something different and fun. And then I also got this like cropped hoodie that just didn't look the cutest on. Uh, it kind of looked very cheap because the zipper's crooked and the way that they hemmed the neckline of it is just kind of all bunched up and it looks not the best so I figured that I would just bleach this as well and that's what I'm gonna do today I need to find some rubber bands and I need to kind of like set up the station uh, I'm gonna do it in the backyard I think so let's go and get everything set up You said the same thing I told ya My eyes are clear, there's no secret I wanna know, was it serious? I need to clear my 
Oh, I just <laughs> broke one of my five elastic bands that I have. So I only have one, two, three, four rubber bands apparently in my house, so I just tied it randomly. Well, this is a broken one. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully that kind of like covers enough of the sweater so not all of it gets bleached. I feel like if we don't move it and then we just keep some of it rolled up, it'll be fine. I know, that's what I was thinking. And then, and then the back is like kind of shriveled up anyways already, so that's fine. This is like the dummy version. We'll try it out and see what happens. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna keep it in the bucket and then I'm gonna take capfuls of the only bleach that I have, which is this Clorox Splash Less Bleach. Um, and I'm going to just like dump it on here and let it sit and then I guess flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So I just finished throwing some of that bleach on and you can see that it's already starting to change colors. And I kind of like when it's a little bit whiter rather than orange bleach stain. So I'm gonna let it sit for quite some time to really bleach out that um, dye from the black. So I just flipped it over and I want the back to be a little bit less intense than the front. So I put a lot less bleach places and now this side is starting to develop as well. So this one's pretty much done, so I'm actually gonna take it out of the bucket. That's what the front looks like. And I'm going to just leave it out here on the side for a minute. Ha! Oh, I think I just broke a nail. Yes, I did. I'm gonna have to do my nails in one of these walks coming up soon as well. Okay. I need more rubber bands. So I decided to use just some old hair ties that are not my preferred kind of hair tie and just use that for the other two pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I literally, I'm just like spinning the fabric, grabbing it and tying a nice big blob in different random sections. I'm even like tying the sleeve to the rest of the hoodie. You don't need to do too many sections of this, but you want to have at least a couple. Do the sleeve up here. And then I'll do the hood kind of this way bunch the hood up all together and I'm like closing the opening up of the hood okay so this is the hoodie prepped and I think I'm gonna do this one also in the bucket just so I don't make a huge mess So I've decided I want to keep the actual sweatsuit a little bit lighter, I mean darker with the bleach stains. So I'm actually going to go and stop the development of this one in some water right now in the house while this one starts to develop. Oh, 
something. So I just took them out of the wash and threw them in the dryer as you just saw and they came out so cool. I'm really excited to see what they look like when they're all dry and then I'm going to try them on and show you guys what they look like. But I'm really pleased with that. It was also such an easy process. It took me like 10 minutes. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and plan my week and I think that I'm going to pick this vlog up tomorrow because I'm really not doing anything for the rest of today and that would be very boring and repetitive content for you guys. So I will see you tomorrow. No. Yes. Okay, I lied. I was too excited. I had to show you guys how it turned out. I just took it out of the dryer and this is what the hoodie turned out looking like. I think it came out really cool. You can't really see it too much with this lighting, but here, let's come over to this mirror. Can you see it a little bit more? I guess not. Yeah, you can see it a little bit more over here. This is what it came out like. I'm really happy with it. The sweats came out cool too, but I will show you the sweats and everything else in part two of this vlog.